Queen Fury, royal fans notice major slight to Meghan Markle and Prince Harry in tribute. The Queen issued a heartfelt statement to mark the beginning of this year's Journalism Matters Week. In her message, the monarch praised news media platforms for providing trusted, reliable sources of information to Britons. She also recognized the support provided by the media world to communities and the most vulnerable at the height of the coronavirus pandemic. However, this statement has been perceived as a slight by a few social media users, who said the Queen's words were in contrast with Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's latest messages. Royal fan Poppy wrote on Twitter, trusted, reliable source of information. Not the phrasing Meghan Markle would use I'm sure. Other social media users didn't mention the Duke and Duchess of Sussex but appear to be referring to them saying the Queen was shading, a colloquial term for discreet rebuking her grandson and granddaughter-in-law's stance against parts of the British media. Ginger said, she was right to do that, but it was massive shade. Lottie added, wow, now that was pure shade. I love how the Queen makes it so classy. A Twitter user with the nickname Sugar Free Zone also said, yes, it was definitely shade. She is poetry in motion when it comes to shade. Mentioning the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, Twitter user Amanda said, the Queen makes a move and says, checkmate. Total shade to Harry and Meghan. Royal author and commentator Angela Levin also suggested the Queen may have sent a subtle message with her latest statement. She wrote on Twitter, easy to wonder why the has seized the opportunity to thank and reassure the newspaper world. Subtle, to the point as usual and easy to read between the lines. In her statement, the monarch pointed out the achievements and challenges faced by the journalism industry in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic. She wrote, on the occasion of the 2020 Journalism Matters Week, I am pleased to send my best wishes to the members of the News Media Association. The COVID-19 pandemic has once again demonstrated what an important public service the established news media provides, both nationally and regionally. As our world has changed dramatically, having trusted, reliable sources of information, particularly at a time when there are so many sources competing for our attention is vital. The efforts of the news media to support communities throughout the United Kingdom during the pandemic has been invaluable, whether through fundraising, encouraging volunteering, or providing a lifeline for the elderly and vulnerable to the outside world. As you reflect on your achievements this year, and the challenges you have faced, I send my warm good wishes to you all for a most successful and memorable week. As shown by the letterhead of the Queen's message, this statement has been issued from Sandringham, where the monarch and the Duke of Edinburgh have been staying since mid-September. Last year, Prince Harry issued a strongly worded statement to announce Meghan's legal action against the Mail on Sunday. While defending press freedom, the Duke said he and Meghan had been unable to correct the continual misrepresentations and criticized select media outlets for exploiting this on a daily and sometimes hourly basis. While many have seen the Queen's message in opposition to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's views on British media, one of its passages may also echo a position taken earlier this year by Prince Harry. The monarch's reference to many sources competing for our attention could be addressed to social media. In August, the Duke of Sussex penned an op-ed for Fast Company in which he called for the creation of a more compassionate digital world and the ban of misinformation from the social media. More recently, Prince Harry has also made comments on the whole digital world. Taking part in a video recorded for ABC's Time 100 special, Prince Harry made a comment about the importance of rejecting hate speech and misinformation online. He said, as we approach this November, it's vital that we reject hate speech misinformation and online negativity.